Jason Voss has climbed his way up through the ranks and become one of the best off-road racers in the world. He's won multiple Best in the Desert championships, including the 2016 season, and has become a force to be reckoned with. Being consistent and winning championships is great. I think it says a lot about our race team, about our preparation, you know, the amount of effort that we put into it. Championships say a lot at the same time. We like to win. And when, when a season starts out, we're there to win. We're not going to baby the truck a little bit because we're going for a championship. We're out there to win. We're pushing the truck hard. And if we're still coming away with, it, with championships with only a couple wins in a year, you know, great. It, it says a lot about our program. Hailing from Cupertino, California, Jason grew up racing dirt bikes and going to the desert with his family and eventually got into off-road racing with his father in 2005. Growing up in a quarry, um, you know, it's definitely different. You're living a life off-road. I mean, you're in the dirt, you're in the rocks, the mud. Basically, you know, I had a big sandbox here to play in and, you know, from day one, you're you're playing in the dirt. Back then we had golf carts, you know, me and the neighbors, and we'd do all sorts of, you know, modifications to them. And not only driving things around, but I grew up riding dirt bikes, uh, running local motocross races, then racing, you know, endurance races, hair scrambles. I rode a lot of District 36 uh, seasons for quite a while. And riding dirt bikes, you learn how to pick a line, how to read the terrain. As I was younger, my dad was always racing something. So when I was growing up, you know, he was racing sprint cars down at uh, San Jose Fairgrounds at the dirt track. And we've always been, as a family, into motorsports. My dad and a few of his buddies went down to Baja to go riding. They were just finding their way down to Cabo. First time my dad had been down there. The other guys had been down there like once before. And they happened to be down there at the same time uh, the Baja 500 was going on. They got to see the lead trucks go by. Came home from that trip and we went and watched the Laughlin off-road race. You know, after that, we were kind of hooked. Jason started in the pro truck class and moved his way up to unlimited trucks, eventually winning some of the biggest races in the sport, including the famous Vegas to Reno and Parker 425 races, an astounding three times each. And he took home the win twice at the Baja 1000. We went down and saw Ivan Stewart at his shop when he was running the pro truck class. A lot of guys racing the class at the time, spec vehicles, looked like really good racing. Well, that's where it all started. We got ourselves a pro truck. Towards the end, guys started leaving the class and transitioning into a truck truck class. The truck counts were going down a little bit. We want to go where the competition is. We actually bought Cameron Steele and Clyde Stout's old Profi truck, which was a converted pro truck. Wasn't really a true trick truck, I would say. We got a few races in in that Profi truck, we called it. And Mike Jolson approached us and flew down to uh, Jimco to meet him. We always say that he can sell ice to a polar bear. You know, he's a hell of a salesman. And he cut us a deal and we shook hands and started building a, a real trick truck. We were struggling with our program a little bit. We knew the team was good. You know, we can go out, we could qualify well. We always did good in the starts of the races and then we would have issues. So we made those changes to our program, one of which was changing tire manufacturers. And we got hooked up with BFG. Our very first race out on BFGs was 2013 Parker 425, and we won the race. There was no better feeling. I mean, we, we knew we were good, and uh, you know, we just needed to prove it. People were, oh, it's a fluke thing, this and that, and you know, we went on later that, that year and, and won Vegas to Reno. You know, another real brutal race that's tough on tires, and proving that new partnership that we had with BFG was the key to success that we needed. And it's been a, a breath of fresh air. It's that much more fun when, when you're winning races. This soft-spoken champion has yet to conquer the Mint 400. On two separate occasions, Jason has crashed hard while qualifying at the Great American Off-Road Race. Our history at the Mint hasn't been good. Our biggest crash in our trick truck was at the Mint 400 qualifying. You know, that year, we didn't even make it to the race. You know, we watered the truck up. You know, that puts a damper on things but it also makes us want to come back and win it even more the next year. And, and we've progressed at the Mint, but the Mint has still won each year. The road to the Mint 400, it's a second job. It's something that you got to be 100% into. You know, when we go to a race, we're not going to a race to finish second, third, fourth, to just go there and have fun. We're going to a race to win. 
everyone on our team takes that to heart and that's what we're prepping to do when we're prepping to go to the Mint 400. Can Jason Voss shake off his bad luck streak and take home the Mint 400 gold this year? Come see for yourself the 2017 Polaris Razor Mint 400, presented by BF Goodrich Tires, runs March 1st through the 5th in Sin City, Las Vegas. Visit themint400.com for complete details.